Hello again from Under Construction with Chapman Building. Today Jason's going to be explaining to us more about their finishing services. Hi Jason, how are you doing? Hey man, it's nice to see you again. And you, so what have you got on today's agenda? Right, so today we're going to talk about finishing. Um, so for those that don't know in the building industry, that's obviously the thing that happens last. <laughs> So finishing involves um, all of the detailing, all the cosmetics that you see um, uh, with the house. So once the wet works and all the bulk works are done, wet works being all your plaster, brickwork and all of that, and then bulk works also then being your ceiling um, uh, and, and getting the, the space ready for the mm. finishing to begin. And the finishing is the pretty stuff, the stuff that the wives love doing Absolutely. and where all the money goes. Yes. Yeah. Correct. So, so I've always said that uh, working in the building industry requires you to have a marriage counselling degree as well as uh, Psychology 101. And it's mainly this stage of the project that you're going to find the need to, to have those skills. Because yes, the wives certainly do enjoy it, but by this time the husbands traditionally have, have spent uh, uh, way more than they originally anticipated or desired and now they're eating into the wife's budget. Mm -hmm. So naturally these things occur. <laughs> However, we uh, soldier on under normal circumstances and, and we, you know, normally uh, what, what allows us to produce well in, 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 on, in this part of the project is a detailed specification of finishes. So we basically take every room and consider every finish from the top down to the bottom. So from uh, what type of ceiling board is it going to be skimmed throughout? Is it going to have a bulkhead detail? Will there be a recessed light? Um, do we need to make provision for any blinds or, or curtain rails? Um, and then once we know what the ceiling looks like, then we consider any cornice detail. Is it going to be a cornice? Is it going to be a shadow line? They're umpteen shapes, mm. sizes and designs. So we need that specification. And then we work our way down to wall color and then floor finish and, and then do that per room. Yes. Um, and, and, and repeat, you know. So you're obviously going to find a few things that are going to cross and, and be the same throughout. But, but that detail is imperative to making sure that you can execute uh, the project, uh, you know, efficiently mm. and, and, and neatly. This finishing process actually starts early in the building process, yeah. doesn't it? Because you, I have no doubt you have come across clients. They change their minds yes. through an entire build a number of times. Yes, yes. So, so it is inevitable. It will happen. And, and to be completely honest, it is the right time to make changes, mm. you know, rather than finish everything and then go like, okay, let's move that plug, you mm. know, or, or shift the cupboard, you know. So there's a lot of planning that goes into buildings. So when changes are made, yes, it does disrupt. But what I think a lot of people need to also know and understand is that when a change occurs, um, you, you have an effect on time and you have an effect on cost. Um, so... So you'll never achieve the three statuses of time, cost and quality. You're always going to have to give up one of them to, to achieve at least two of them. So, mm. um, you know, and that's, that's, that's nowhere, uh, you know, more true than at this stage of the project. So, um, you know, the, the good thing about finishing is, is you, building is an imperfect science. So we're taking, you know, massive structures and we're working down to plans and, you know, big blocks and cement. And, but we're working on plans that are down to the millimeter. So, you know, we've got all of this very bulky work and what have you that we put together, but at each stage, we afforded an opportunity to refine mm, the finish the finesse, yeah. to allow us to, that when we get to that last coat of paint, where we've got a micro millimeter worth of thickness, you'll measure that wall and it'll be bang on square, you know? But it could have been 20 mils off before you plastered. But again, mm. you've got plastering, it allows you to fix. You've got skimming, which allows you to, to fix and refine. So, you know, we certainly uh, take pride in making sure that at each stage, each day of the finishing process, we're using it uh, adequately and, and correctly to achieve that perfect finish. Yes. And with, with talking about finishing, so often, and I've seen it for myself, just with people I know, is that somebody sees a paint that they may be like, but it's on a paint card. And then it, when it gets put on the wall, it's totally different. You have to deal with these sort of things, like tiles arriving, that's floor tiles. Yeah. That somebody might think, oh, that is my perfect tile and I've chosen that. How do you deal with this? Do you go with clients to select it? I know you do work with architects and interior decorators yeah. and the likes of them. 
but this part of the process is so so important yeah look it's it, it's it's personal mm. so so we 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 may not be the same as a lot of other other companies or what have you but we prefer to put it onto the owners to supply it's your tiles you know what you like mm. i mean i can suggest to the nines what i like and what have you but once the contract's over i'm out of that house mm. you're gonna live there not me Correct. so you you know what you want choose your tiles and and spend time and Im, uh, ifing, uh, ifing and butting you know do the due diligence because i know in my experience this is what i like you know i know that the trends are this yeah but that's me you know um it is really you uh whatever you give me i will fit and i'll put in and make it as nice as possible for you to enjoy yes so bathroom accessories i don't uh, uh you know i'm not going to go and, and and select your blinds you mm. know a nice palm tree or what have you and you were once in a hurricane and and, and now you terrifies you every time you open up the window so you know it's a personal choice so, yes. so take the take the opportunity to make it yours mm. you know um <laughs> So, and yeah, paints, I mean, you know, paints, paints a tricky one, you know, you, it's always good to stay within, um, you know, what's, what's popular and, and, and what have you, um, feature walls and what have you can get very flamboyant and exciting and, yeah. and some very bright colors that you didn't even expect were on the, on the spectrum seem to appear. Um, but it, it is also, we work with quite a few interior designers, mm -hmm. which to be completely honest, make our life a whole lot easier. And, and as the client, especially people that don't know or don't have experience with renovating, getting an interior designer involved to whatever degree of their service that they offer you, whether it's just specifying or actually following through with other details, it's so good um, because it just gives you that peace of mind to know that the selection of finishes that you got is one quality materials, they're mm. in fashion, they're trending, they're not gonna die out uh, very soon. And two, I know exactly what I'm getting and what I need to put in. Yes. Um, and who's supplying what? You know, most often the interior designer will have their network of suppliers and yes. we will offer what we can and, and if it's reasonable. But yeah, so, so we'd encourage the use of interior designers. Like I say, we, we use a few that are in our network and available on all our platforms to view and, and, and all the rest. So yeah, definitely useful. Yeah, this is such an important part of, of the process because it's that lasting impression. So, um, you know, everybody involved in the build, it's, it's so important um, to be spot on when yeah. it comes to these things and to have your marriage counsellor and your <laughs> psychological your psychology your marriage counseling certificate and your psychology degree in yeah, place absolutely yeah look also what helps is is working with the team that we do because you know with with a finishing project i mean if we look at it'll, it'll encompass a bathroom or, or kitchen renovation mm. you know where we have to work with uh, plumbers electricians and 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 a cupboard or kitchen in installer um so so having the guys that we work with and have worked with for so many years. I mean, the kitchen installer that we work with, we've done over 400 projects with them, sure. you know? Um, and uh, the, 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 the plumbing electrician that we use, we've used for, for years and years, mm. you know? So there's an understanding between us. There's, we look out for each other, you know? If I hit someone's uh, a pl a plumbing pipe or what have you, the plumber will come and sort it out. But if he goes in and, and, and messes up some plaster, then I'll go patch it up. So there's a mm. good You've got that good work cohesion, ethic yeah. as well, yeah. which is so important. So you each know how the other one works. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think it's a way better idea than getting Tom from this side, yeah. Harry from that side, who have never worked together and don't necessarily speak the same language, let alone the client's language. Yes. Yeah, and, and I mean, again, on, on the staff that we employ uh, across, I mean, not only finishing, but across the other companies, they, we don't have a hard turnaround of staff. Mm -hmm. The guys have been with us for years and years and years, and I just, I just hope that it's contest to, to us, you know, doing a good thing, you know, and, and if, we're, if we're enjoying ourselves and, and, and certainly believe that we're doing a good thing, then, and that's why the employees are happy and, and there's no issue, you know. Yes, like every company, you've got your little bumps that you need to get over, but we deal with those. So, so we've just recently finished off a project now, which I'm sure we'll get some, some, some footage and a little walkthrough at a later stage. And it'll be really good to showcase, um, you know, what, what we can do and, and, and how we sort of take this part of the project so seriously. Thank you so much, Jason. Um, really informative and um, 
just a great understanding of the finishing process for our viewers. Catch us soon on our next episode of Under Construction with Chatham Ford.